RPCS3, the PS3 emulator has recently added a new feature called save states. Save states are not to be confused with save data for your games. Simply put, save states are snapshots of whatever was happening on RPCS3 at the exact moment when they were performed. This could be useful in many scenarios, such as when you are in the middle of a tough encounter in a game and you do not want to fight through a bunch of enemies to get back to where you were. In this scenario, you can simply load the save state you created and pick up exactly from the moment when you took the snapshot, saving you a lot of time and hassle. There are also other ways that you can take advantage from this feature and it all depends on you. So before showing how this save state thing works, uh, I just want to mention a few important notes. First of all, there might be a stability and compatibility issues depending on the game you're trying to perform a safe state on. Enabling right color buffers in GPU tab and forced CPU blit in the debug tab may help with compatibility, although they may cause reduced performance. Also, save states will be saved into your save states folder in RPCS3, and the sizes might range from 15 megabytes to 2 or 3 gigabytes depending on the game and the frequency of the features usage. This feature may not work for every single game and you might encounter some errors and crashing, therefore you can um, report this issue for further improvements. For getting more information about save states and getting to know how to report issues related to save states you can check the wiki page of RPCS3. I'll put the link to this page in the description below. So now let's get to know how this um, save state feature works. It's pretty simple. You just open your game, run it, and press Ctrl plus S on your keyboard whenever you want to take a snapshot of your save states. I should also add that you can only have one save state per game. If you try to take a snapshot for second time, it'll replace the previous save state file for that game. And after the save state is created, you can just right click on your game and choose boot with save state. This will boot your game from the snapshot that you just took. That's basically all you need to do. You can also head up to file and choose boot save state, uh, but I recommend the first method for loading your save states. I must also add that you can share your save state files and exchange it with others. And the last thing is that, um, as I told you before, this feature might not work for every game and uh, it's an experimental feature it is growing almost with every single update so some of the topics that I mentioned in this video may be irrelevant next few months 